Well, it's a beautiful Saturday, and I hope that you're having a wonderful day today. We're going to be talking about just one verse today. It is a verse that I quote often. Uh, In a pastor's life, this is a a ubiquitous verse. It seems like we have to refer to it a lot, both uh, in counseling and consolation of others, or consoling others, and uh, at funerals. And if you're a member of our church, you know that we've done a fair share of um, funerals lately. And um, some of them don't attend our church, but used to, so I've done their funerals as well. And I have to uh, confront death a lot. And I have to be able to console and comfort people when a loved one has died. But before we die, the same truths that we share with other people when they've lost a loved one should encourage us while we have our loved ones. It should encourage us about the way God sees us. It's a simple verse. You have heard it quoted probably many times if you've been a Christian for long. You've heard this verse quoted. And sometimes when something is so familiar, we lose the sense of profundity of the truth because we can quote it and we hear it and it's sort of trite and almost a cliche And we forget that when it was inspired by God to be written down, it was declaring a powerful, powerful truth. And that's what today's verse is. It's still in the Psalms, Psalm 116, verse 15. And I want you just to sort of clear your mind and listen to this verse as if you've never heard it before and see if it doesn't say something powerful to you. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of of his saints. The death of his saints. Death is coming for every single one of us, unless the rapture comes first. Death is the end of every faithful, God-fearing, God-honoring, full of faith believer in Jesus Christ. Death happens to our bodies, but because we are believers in him, our spirit will never die. But our physical death which for us is the most profound event of our life outside of our birth, to God, he knows it's it's simply a transition. Uh, We're going from being in a decayed, corrupt body to soon to have our spiritual body with our enlivened spirit to exist forever. But still knowing that, our death is precious to him. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, it means, first of all, that each one of us matter to God. That he understands the sadness that we feel at a death, which is why he said for those believers um, in Thessalonians to not grieve as others who have no hope. Because we do grieve, but not without hope. God understands the, the human sense of loss of a death. And our death is precious to God, means valued by, significant to God. No matter how insignificant you might be in your world, uh, maybe you don't feel as if you matter to anybody. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, your death will be precious to God. And his angels will carry you into heaven. Uh, Like a great um, parade, uh, an entourage. it won't be overlooked. You matter to God. Why? Got nothing to do with you, nothing to do with me. It's God's love for you. What an amazing thought. That even if you die somewhere far away, all by yourself, in a medical facility, or you're all alone when you die, and maybe even if you die and no one knows it for a few days, your death won't be missed by God himself. It's precious to him, and then he will fulfill all his promises to you. You're not alone in this world. You matter to God. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you that in the most traumatic event of our lives, which would be our death, that that does not go by unnoticed by you, that it's precious to you, it's valued by you, and you step in, and resurrect our bodies and give us new life. And we thank you for that. I pray if there's anybody who's listening today who just sometimes feels as if they don't matter, that you'll you'll encourage them and remind them that they will always matter to you, even at the point of their death. 
May that be true for all of us. In our darkest moments, when we feel alone, may we realize that you'll never leave us or forsake us. We ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great Saturday, and we'll see you in church tomorrow. Thank you.